What's up, guys? My name is Bubble Play. Welcome to another episode of Winnipeg Jets uh, GM mode on NHL 15 on PS4. Yeah, that was a long intro. So, we are done with the trades for this year, I think. I will show you our lines as they are right now. And we don't really have anything really important to do in this season. We just need to finish it off because we will not be making playoffs. But there is one thing that I wanted to take care of. Uh, you know, for the future, for the times that we will actually appear in the playoffs. And this is the problem of in-game simulation, because there is none, and we need to kind of figure out how we will be watching our playoffs. And I was, you know, trying different things, and I think I figured out a decent way to do it. And it is, I think I mentioned it in the previous episodes, I don't really... I'm not sure, but I think I did. And what it is, is that we uh, start a game, we let two computers play, we make the periods pretty short, and uh, I just do a live commentary over this, and uh, then I show you the recap. And it's it's a little bit goofy, I've been doing it for, for a while now on my separate account, it's a little bit goofy, but it, it still beats, you know, watching the final score, like press sim and see final score. This is much better and, uh, well, it's my opinion and I wanted to know what you guys think. So I uh, thought that in this episode, yeah, you can see I just went best line, so uh, we have, yeah, we, we really don't really have much and uh, most of our prospects are still in the minors, so yeah, we don't really have anything good, you know, to to expect this year. So uh, I wanted in this episode I wanted to finish off the the year and also uh, to to try out this uh, in-game simulation system that we might be using. But it all depends on on you guys if you guys like it or not. So yeah, we went best lines, and I think that I want to kind of take care of it first. And uh, I think we will just find a decent game for us to play, you know? Maybe against some Canadian team like Ottawa. Yeah, let's let's look more. Uh, what else? We have Ottawa. We have Oilers. Maybe we should play against Oilers. Well, no, it's, it's too long. So let's uh, simulate up to this day past trading deadline and uh, on the example of this game I will show you guys exactly what I mean with this with this simulation yeah I don't expect anything good we have a pretty decent record we were actually you know on the verge of you know maybe contending for the playoffs but we had a bad stretch oh we we took a point from uh, LA this is wonderful okay no I don't want to take care of trading clock Maybe I think we will go into the we will go into the news to see if there were any good trades in the and Ottawa has a great record so I don't expect much good of this game. Okay, uh, let's see where can we see it? If oh yeah yeah picks and tradings. Yeah, this is uh, okay. Let's see. In case you guys see anything interesting, please let me Yeah, this is the trade uh, between us and LA and St. Louis, and between Ducks, so yeah, this is the before the deadline. And then uh, San Jose acquired some experienced defensemen from uh, Florida for, I think, some prospects. Uh, Mezzers, yeah, another experienced defenseman. Oh, New Jersey and Vancouver had a pretty big deal. Green and Havlat went there, and oh, they they gave up a lot actually. This is this is nice. And Mikalik went to Nashville from Arizona. Yeah, this is pretty realistic. I think this this is the kind of trades that will actually happen on the deadline, you know, this season. So yeah, this is this is pretty fine. Yeah, in case you're interested, I will show you the settings, and we can really change them. I put offside soft because I don't. We don't need to waste any more time. Period length is the smallest, three minutes. Uh, what else is important? Uh, I adjusted the sliders, you know, a little bit. I made game faster. I made made attribute uh, matter more. Those I think I haven't touched. 
and here, yeah, nothing. Passing, I made it a little bit easier for computers, and shooting, I made their shots a little bit better, so they can actually score some goals, because periods are short, and we don't need, you know, those uh, one nothing or, you know, zero zero games. And goalies, I think I haven't touched. So, if you have any suggestions, oh, I just uh, put goalie cover frequency to minimum, so uh, goalies would always throw puck in, not always, but more often, and it will it will help the speed of the game. So yeah, this is the settings, and I think we are ready to go into the game. Okay, so here we are. This is the beginning of the game. I decided to show it to you, and uh, the time goes pretty fast. So hopefully, and something can happen. Okay, <laughs> nice. Whoa, nice save by Gibson. Yeah, Gibson is doing everything he can so far. Okay, there is one minute left in the first end. Well, uh, it was pretty good game so far. Uh, we had a penalty kill. There was a lot of struggle, but no goals. Gibson made a couple of nice saves. We will look at the stats right now, but I think they will be really messed up. Yeah, Gibson still wall. This is true. <laughs> He made a lot of nice saves. Yeah, you know what? It, it's actually pretty realistic. Yeah, Ottawa dominated. They made eight shots. We made only two. So this is pretty pretty realistic, I think. And let's see what happens next. Neil, whoa, cuts it. Ah, and they score. Yeah, Gibson could not do anything in this particular. Uh, I think it was Zibanejad who scored. Yeah, it was. Uh, there was a lot of space in the zone. Well. What you can do. Ottawa, they dominated. Look at that. Look at that once again. Yeah, nice shot, and Zibanejad puts it in on the rebound. One minute left in the second. Yeah, we're losing now. Well, what is that? This is something stupid. And looks like it will be one nothing after the two. And Ottawa, yeah, they, they should. Oh, no, 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 save it. Yeah, this was in the last 10 seconds. It was a really dangerous shot from Ottawa. Okay, Bogosian to Kane, it's a one-on-one -on -one for him. Oh, nice! And he puts it in! Wonderful! This was actually really nice. In this uh, way of simulating games, I noticed that a lot of goals are scored in a five hole, so you kinda, you know, need to get used to it. But it was a nice thing, look at that. Oh, nice dig, and he just slaps it into the five hole. Wonderful, and we are tied. Oh, Mikalik with Zibanejad. Oh, from the... Oh, it looked really dangerous. Okay, Tafali goes to... The, oh, what a chance! Okay, this is the end of the third, and looks like we're going to overtime. No, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're looking at the Kane's goal once again. This is 1-1 game at the end of the regulation. He moves in. Oh, he goes to Bogosian. What a dangerous uh, chance it was. Oh, nice puck movement. Yeah, our first line, they know what they're doing. Shifley. Oh, goes to Postma and his stick, his stick breaks. God damn it. 20 seconds left in overtime. No, 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 no. Gibson. Gibson. Oh, Gibson is there. Nice, nice, nice. 2.6 seconds left. Nice job, Perot. Trying to shoot. But we're going to shoot out. Okay, Ottawa is shooting first. I don't know. I think it can be pretty miserable to watch. We will see. Oh, nice! Carlson with a nice move, he puts it in. Let's see what Little will do. Will do. We need to score. Oh man, it was so close. But I guess Leonard touched it. I don't know why. Did he go back? A little bit, I don't know. Next shooter for Ottawa, number six. Bobby Ryan. No, he cannot put it in. Evander hey, Kane. It's all in your hands. You need to score. Nice, he puts it in. What a game he has. Wonderful job. Look at that. Oh, oh such a nice dick, and he puts it on top shelf in the corner. Kyle Tourist. Okay, Gibson, you need to save it. Nice job. Nice job, Gibson. Anstrom, you can win it for us, right now. Oh no, he can't. 
Okay, it's round number eight. There were so many goofy shots. Please, Bogosian, just win it for us. No, but it was a nice shot, actually. Pirot, come on, everybody wants to go home. Round number nine, please, win it for us. Do something. Oh, and he puts it in, and we win it in the shootout. Nice shot, by the way. Okay, yeah, this is oh, this is a wonderful, this is a nice game. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed uh, watching this way of simulating. Uh, this was the game for you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please, please let me know what you think. I think it was pretty fun. Uh, the only thing I uh, think needs to be changed, there were some shots and I felt that they were really, you know, weak. So we need to maybe up, you know, shooting a little bit, you know, one time or yeah, we will, so we will have more goals. Yeah, like, like that, yeah, power, no, maybe not the accuracy, but power should be, yeah, power should be higher. Yeah, this, this will do, I think. So, uh, like I said, please let me know what you think about this way of simulating games. And uh, because we will have playoffs in no time, like maybe next year, <laughs> oh. or maybe not. But now let's just finish off the year, because, well, there is not much to do. Yeah, we still, technically we haven't lost the chance for the playoffs, but actually we did, of course, because, well, we don't have the roster. All the players, I don't know what I think about our team to be honest because we made a trades and when I was making them I was thinking whoa this is amazing we are doing such a fine job but uh, actually we gave up a lot of roster players and what we have you know back is only Toffoli all the other players are in their you know 60s and 70s so I don't know I, I'm not uh, you know that good with mechanics of this particular game to know how fast they will grow and uh, probably in the NHL 14 there were a lot of cases when you can uh, you know just get good prospect and he will jump uh, like you know 10 or 15 uh, in overall uh, in one off season and maybe it's not how this game works maybe this is more okay what do we need where have we scouted we scouted here time scouted two time scouted one Mm, yeah, let's go for the OHL forwards. I think, yeah, forwards is still what we need. I still like our defensive depth. They all are prospects. No, not only prospects. Yeah, yeah, our defense is fine. We need uh, uh, forwards. And in case uh, if nobody will actually, you know, jump to a decent overall, not, none of our prospects, we will go into the free agency because, well, I don't want to rush them. I, I don't want to uh, make them, uh, you know, play on the level that they are not ready to succeed on. And maybe they will stay in the minors for at least one more year. And look at that. We are actually on some winning streak. Three in a row. I don't know who's even... How? How we're doing that? I don't know. Probably Evander Kane and Toffoli are doing all the job and Gibson is saving you know everything uh, what I was saying yeah maybe we need all those you know you know journeyman uh, free agents like you know around 80 overall so all the guys that are not really you know looking to win a Stanley Cup the guys that are looking for a job because no good players, you know, we can't sign some big free agent even if we will have money because it will be totally unrealistic. We are on a rebuilding stage so we cannot really get, I don't know, somebody like Kapitar because he does not want to uh, spend his best year, his prime, even if he will be paid a lot, he does not want to spend it with a team that is still in a rebuilding mode and this is exactly what we are doing we are in a rebuilding mode and i don't know when we will be able to get into the playoffs i remember in the dallas series dallas was really hard team to rebuild because they were so many veterans and they all had such a big contracts and i was not that experienced with the game and if uh, if you don't remember guys yeah we were struggling for basically three years we missed first three playoffs i think yeah, it was tough the other problem problem with Dallas is that their star you know Jamie Benn he's not really good 
in NHL 14 at least, and uh, yeah, we had to trade him, and only after that we became successful. Yeah, that was the case. Yeah, we're just finishing off the year. Yeah, we're putting in some. We we don't really have that awful record. We're pretty close to 500, and yeah, maybe you know five more wins, and we would have been in the playoffs. Maybe yeah, you see, we we put some nice games in. I don't know. I think it's all about Gibson. I think Gibson is playing nice. Yeah, let's simulate this game. Not in the extended way. We have exactly the same record with Calgary, and we are in the same division, I believe. So, I don't know what place in the division will it be. Oh yeah, we win. Okay, yeah, that's that's a nice job. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, now let's look at the standings and all the stats, and this will be basically it for today because not much to do in this season. Uh, yeah, let's look at the standings first. Uh, yeah, we are not in the playoffs. We are sixth in our division. Well, 80 points, it's pretty decent. Uh, let's look at the West. No, 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 no. Let's look at the Western Conference. Uh, how close were we? Yeah, you see, we were nine points out, so yeah, pretty close. And what kind of draft pick will we have? I don't think it will be like top five. It should not. Where we are? Oh, no, no, no. It will be exactly top five pick. Yeah, that's wonderful. Hopefully we can get some decent prospect. Uh, okay, now let's look at the other stuff. What we were doing. It does not really matter. It's just interesting to see. Goals four per game. Yeah, we are, you know, bottom four, so we're not really scoring that much. No, 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 no. Goes four. Only three, two point five. This is not enough, and we are allowing way too many. We're bottom five. So yeah, we are exactly bottom five. Team looks like power play is pretty decent. Uh, penalty kill, well, I don't, I don't know those stats. Yeah, we our home record is is really respectable for a bottom five team in the league and yeah away not so good but home we did pretty nice job okay now let's look at the player stats okay this is all taking so many time but after the update uh, i don't know if it was the last or before the last Menus, especially in HUT, they started to, wo to work much faster, so it's much more comfortable. Okay, so yeah, Kane with 42 goals, this is pretty decent. This is maybe his top 5, even, at least top 10 in the NHL. 42 goals, he, he, he did a nice job. Uh, Toffoli, not so much. Uh, yeah, he's still young. He plays first line while he should be playing uh, you know, third line, but well, I decided what the hell, we need to play him on the level that we need him to play, <laughs> if it makes sense. Shifley, pretty decent year. Uh, Frolic, uh, also, he played part of the year on the third line, I think, and part on the second. Yeah, he can be a valuable player. I see him as the perfect third liner, to be honest, as well as Perot. I think that Perot is a nice player. Slater, all those guys, they're just, you know, holding, you know, holding spots for our young players. Defenseman, Enstrom, nice. I, I don't know why, but I want to hold on to Enstrom. Uh, I think he has a lot of years left. Yeah, four years for a nice salary. Maybe we will trade him a little bit later, but uh, he will stay 85 overall probably, so we can use him. He will be good for two or three years. Bogosian is a franchise defender. Hopefully he can get to a top two, but probably not because his potential says top four. Truba, another top four. Uh, Postma looks like he will stay. He has a potential to become elite, but he's already 26, so I don't know. I asked you guys a question. What what will happen? Okay, and uh, Belio, yeah, nice, nice plus minus. He was not playing. He made his debut, looks like, in the NHL with our team, and yeah, that's nice. Uh, he's listed as uh, yeah, minor league top two defenseman. Okay, okay. 
and uh, now goalies. Yeah, Gibson actually he has pretty much uh, pretty decent stats. I don't know how many games he played with Anaheim, but with us, yeah, yeah, two point three on a losing team, uh, ninety two and seven save percentage. Yeah, that's nice. And he still has two years on his minor league deal. Okay, Hutchinson. I don't know. Maybe he will grow. We will see. Yeah, and that's that's all for the stats for our team. Let's look at the entire league. Games played. Is it messed up or is it fine? Miller. Yeah, that's realistic. Howard. Obrovsky. Where is... Oh yeah, quick. 57. I don't know. In case there is no injuries, this is not much. And I'm looking for care price. 50. I don't know. 56 seems a little bit low for carry price. Who has the best goes against average? Leonard uh, has a nice goes against average. Crawford, uh, yeah, he's the leader with uh, 60 starts. Rene Lundqvist, 56 for Lundqvist, it's not enough. Okay, yeah, Gibson is pretty high up there. Uh, save percentage. Rene and Crawford. Yeah, Gibson is up there too, but he does not have enough uh, games to be eligible. Is oh yeah, Gibson. Gibson actually has a shot on a rookie of the year. Let's look at the, at the rookie skaters. If unless there is some you know amazing point producer, yeah, Kuznetsov. I don't know. No, I don't think that he is. This is not, but yeah, he is another candidate, the only can candidate probably for uh, Rookie of the Year uh, in the line with Gibson. Okay, now let's look at all the forwards. No, let's look at all the players. It will be better. Oh, and we have some 100 point seasons. Stamkos, Parisa, Crosby. Yeah, this is totally makes sense. Giroud is up there. Kane, Ovechkin. Yeah, this is looking, you know, super realistic to be honest. Peristine, yeah, 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 I like it. Uh, goals, let's see where Kane stands on the goals. Yeah, he is top 10. It's funny how many left wingers in a row we can see. <laughs> yeah, Vishkin with 57, Stamkos, Perry, Crosby, yeah, this is really good stats. And Kane, he is... Yeah, exactly, top 10. In case I miscounted. Unless I miscounted, I mean. And let's look at the defenseman. I don't think that we have anybody who should be up there, but what the hell, let's see. Carlson, Yandel. Yeah, that's that's those guys are really putting up a lot of points. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's great, and goals four defensemen, yeah, Yandel Carlson, basically the same names. She Weber, yeah, a lot of points. This is good. He's defensive defenseman, but he is putting points because he has five star shooting. This is nice. Okay, so playoffs. Uh, I think we need to simulate a couple more days to see a playoff tree, and this will be the the end of this episode. Let's simulate. Probably regular season will be yes, yes, it's over. And now let's see how playoff tree looks like. Also, for the next episode, I really want your advice on scouting, guys. What should we do? Uh, how we should draft? All that. I mean, scouting and drafting. This kind of advice. Yeah, and playoff tree. Let's look. Yeah, so it's St. Louis against Dallas. Yeah, it makes sense. Chicago against Minnesota. Another Vancouver against LA. I don't know how good Vancouver will actually be, but this is you know all the f eight teams on the West looking really, really realistic to me. This can be top eight on the West this year, and on the other side, Rangers, Carolina, Pittsburgh, Montreal, Ottawa, Boston. Well, this is looking a little bit weird. Probably Detroit would be up there. Uh, but yeah, it can happen. I don't know yet. Yeah, Toronto probably, Capitals. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it it makes 
a little less sense than uh, Western, uh, you know, standings. But yeah, it's still pretty decent. So yeah, I guess we will end it up here. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you didn't. I really want to hear your feedback about our, you know, way of in-game simulating. <laughs> it would it would mean a lot if you will uh, say what you think about it. And also, yeah, subscribe if you still if you still haven't. Follow me on Twitter, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.